Hello everyone, I'm Satvika from IPM Batch 3 of I am Rotar from Univoyage. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing on how you should be practicing the quantitative ability in such a way that you'd be comfortably able to clear the cutoffs. So without any further ado, let's get into it. I'm comfortably clearing these cutoffs of VA, but quant doesn't seem to be my cup of tea. What should I do about it? How should I clear the cutoff? This is the question that I hear very often from the aspirants, especially the non math students. But guess what? Quants is not an impossible nut to crack. With few steps and practice, you can definitely be able to clear the cutoffs and do watch the video completely to know how. Quants is such a subject that requires a lot of practice. Like you can't just arrive at an answer by looking at the question, right? Like what happens in VA is you read the re uh, RC passage that has been given and once you read the questions, you'd be getting a fair idea of what would be the answer. But that is not the case with QA. Once you read the question, you have to understand what concept is used, which logic should be used, which formula should be used, and then you have to solve that question and then arrive at an answer. So this complete procedure is not easy, but I wouldn't say it is so difficult and you can't do it because that I would be lying if I say that, right? And how should you go about it? That is the main question. Like everyone says, uh, QA requires practice, 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 but how should you should practice? That is the main question, right? So practice starts from the basic level, like for any topic, let's say averages again. So averages, you have basic questions, you have medium level questions, you have difficult questions. Anything could be asked in exam. There is a possibility for any type of questions to be asked in the exam. So first start with the basic questions. Okay. Once you solve all the basic questions, then try to look at the solutions that are given at the back of the book. No, it's not even for basic. You can do the same for moderate and difficult level questions too. So after you see that, there might be an approach which is more faster and more efficient and less confusing than the method that you're following, right? So once you figure that out and practice two to three of the similar model, then you'd be done. You'd remember that procedure of solving questions and you wouldn't forget that even when on the day you go for exam. That is the key. You need to practice a lot of questions. There are n number of possibilities, uh, you know, of the type of questions that could be asked in the exam and obviously you can't practice every question but you can practice the almost all the kinds of questions that are probable you know to appear in the exam okay but okay we'll practice easy moderate difficult we'll look at the solutions but where from where should we practice that this is also one of the most frequently asked questions like books to use for QA. so for the basic levels and from my experience the books that are enough are NCRT books of class 9, 10, 11 and 12. They are pretty good in laying down a foundation for you know quantitative aptitude. There are a lot of topics that could be asked and for especially for IPMAT in those you should you should be referring to the class 11 and 12 books too. But for IPMAT Rotak, uh, NCRT 9 and 10 are enough and you can pick up um, Arun Sharma cat books they are difficult for IPMAT, but you can still practice the level one questions from that books and that would be enough, like more than enough. If you solve these many books for QA, that would be more than enough for you to clear the cutoff and you should be, you'd be, you'd feel confident, like the more number of questions you solve from these books, the more confident you'd feel and you are you know, arriving at a step closer to your dream institution. Think it of that. Way. So what I have observed is that commerce students face a difficulty in mathematics when compared to the science students. Obviously, the presence of mathematics in their curriculum says it all. But that doesn't mean commerce students do not stand a chance in front of uh, science students, right? Like, as I said, a little amount of practice is all that you need. And what I'd suggest, especially for non-math students is do not skip practicing maths on any day like at least half an hour one hour keep practicing because the more you practice the speed would increase and since there are not a lot of days left for the IPMAT exam the more you practice the more better you get at solving as I said it's completely di different from the other sections that are present the only thing that could you know that could help you clear the cutoff is practice like I said 
use uh, my tips or uh, browse through our channel there will be a lot more other videos on how you can use mocks to you know strategize your preparation you could use the same tricks here also to prepare for qa and uh, clear the exam that's all for this video if you have any other queries or if you want to see any other video on our channel do let us know in the comment section below like and share this video and subscribe to you